Down there at your meeting, preacher, you got two rows of pews. One morning, there was a lady stood up right here. This is a back y'all get when you come down here. One more, after one of the morning services, there was a lady about right here where Brother Wayne's wife is, and she stood up and she said something about Kintsugi. She said, "You need to somebody needs to tell, learn about Kintsugi." I don't know. She testified about it a little bit. I went up and started talking to her. I, I said, Kintsugi. I said, "Is that Hebrew? Is that Greek or what?" And she started telling me. So I did what everybody does. I went and googled it. This guy, Kintsugi, he was a, an emperor in the 1500s, a Japanese emperor. And he had a, a favorite plate, a favorite plate. And in the process of living and in the process of life, of, of life that plate got broken. And it, it was his favorite. And it got broken. Yeah, yeah. See, when things are broken, it's sharp. It'll cut you. Yeah. It'll hurt you. I can't, I can't get away. Brother Donnie mentioned it last night about that daddy in Mark 9 had that boy and that devil would keep throwing him in the fire. When you try to help those, you may get burnt. Yeah. If you try to pull them out of the fire, you may get burnt. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you will. It'll cut you. Yes, sir. He said, could somebody put this back together? And so one of his shoguns, that's them Japanese guys with the sword strapped on their back. He told his shoguns, he said, would y'all take this and put it back together? And that actually matches. So they took a, a clear rosin light. And they took that clear rosin and they put it on there and they started trying to fit it back together. Yeah. And put it back together pretty much. But when it dried, it, it, it's a mountain term that I've learned since I've lived over there. It was all gummed up. I mean, there was a big line down through there and that line had turned yellow and it just, it just didn't satisfy Kintsugi. So he told them, he said, well, go back. Go back to the, go, somebody go back and see if you can do any better. So this one man, he gets it and he goes back. He takes off all that glue. And he starts putting it back together using that clear rosin. But what he does is he takes gold dust. And he starts putting gold in every one of those cracks. When I put this thing together after that lady told me, I said, Brother Eddie Davis is the week after your meeting sitting in a motel room. And while I started reading that, they started ministering about my boy. About so many other situations yeah. that's broke. Yeah. I went over there to that, right there where you stay across, where there's a, there's a comfort inn, and right across it there's an antique mall. And I went over there, Brother Wayne, and I said, have y'all ever heard of Kintsugi? That lady's eyes lit up. She said, oh, yeah. I said, do you have any of his stuff here? And I took out my phone and showed her a picture. She said, oh, no. I said, you don't have any? She said, no, and there's probably not any in Crossville either. I said, well, tell me something about it. She said, the reason you probably won't see it in Crossville is she said, that plate that you're showing me, she said, they start. They start at like $1,500. And they go up to $7,500. Well, right off the bat, I'm a preacher. I'm listening for anything. That told me it was more of an After it was broken. Sure. Amen. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, See, my boy's tattooed up one side down the other. He just keeps getting them. Other things that I won't talk about. Can anything good come out of this brokenness? Yeah. I'm going to tell you, if you get it in the hands of God. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You say, preacher, what you do? Mess up right here. When I broke this plate at my house, no, I broke it at the motel. I preached it at Brother Eddie's the last night. I broke it at the motel. I went and bought this. I paid about $15 for that, too. It was actually a real blue willow. My mother-in-law would be real upset. But I broke it out there. And I thought, well, maybe I'll put it all back together. I couldn't find all the pieces. Tell it, preacher. See, there's some pieces that will be lost when you yeah. broke it. Yeah. Right. I think about Naomi if he, she was here this morning. Yeah. She said, the Almighty hath afflicted me. Broke in pieces. Yeah. There's some things that's not going to be there. But on Kintsugi, he, he said, fill it in with gold. Yeah. Brother Donnie said, that might be deity. I, I'm going to use it as more grace. Mm -hmm. Where sin did abound. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. See, y'all just think you know me. If it had not been, yeah. the good grace of God yeah. filled yeah. in all my broken places. Yeah. That we could even come. See, this right here is where we're living. Yeah. 
This is the backside. People don't want nobody to know about it. Amen. Don't you say, we're not going to say nothing about it. I can tell you about a preacher that you and I know real well. His daughter was a practicing lesbian. He told me, he said, I studied for two years to preach her funeral service. And she got gloriously saved. Hallelujah. Turned from her sin. Amen. Plays the piano at one of the biggest churches in North Carolina. But his wife came up to me and she said, Preacher, we didn't have to bear this alone. We didn't have to bear this alone. If we had just said something for two long years, we hid it. We didn't want nobody to know. I'm not talking about going into all the gross detail and immorality, but the Bible still said, Bear ye one another's burden, so fulfilling the law of Christ. They can be useful again. Yeah. You just tell me when to stop. Uh, I, got a, I got a lady in her church, and if she's watching, she's going to start shouting here in a minute. And she, I've got her permission. Miss Christina, she could probably whoop any three men in here. She's, she was bad. She's got tattoos on her neck. Got a tattoo across right here. Got a tattoo here, and a tattoo there, and a tattoo everywhere. And she's always walking. She got saved. They can get saved too. Yeah. 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 She's always walking in with her head down. If I get back to Burnsville tomorrow, I'm going to preach Psalms 3 and I used to lift her up. Of my head. Yeah. Tell lift it. your head up. Yeah. God's forgive you. Baptist yeah. may not forgive you. The Baptist right. may not forgive you. Right. Hey, God, he's a lifter. Yeah. He's a lifter yeah. up of my head. She's always walking with I preach about taking everything that God's poured in our church over the years and getting it out there. We've had it all poured in. We know everything. There's a world out there that don't know nothing. Right. And I preached, and that was a pretty good invitation. I, I told them, you know, the COVID had kind of really backed up a little bit. The jails were open. Nursing home was open. And that was a good invitation, I guess. I went to the back door trying to shake hands with everybody was comfortable about coming out. Here she comes. Their head down. She said, Preacher. I said, Yes. She said, God wants me to go to jail and tell them about Jesus. I said, Yo. Yeah, no. I was coming out of Kentucky. And she called. You'd have thought she hit the lottery. She said, I got my papers. I get to go to jail. She went and they wouldn't let her in. So if you ever been to Burnsville, there's a town square. It's a it's one of them roundabout things. She said, preacher, they wouldn't let me go in. She said, I've been pulling up there on the square, and I've been praying for them women in there that I don't even know. <laughs> I may be training them wrong. I don't know. She, she said, I'm praying. I don't even know them. And I was coming from another meeting somewhere, and she called them. She, it was, I just put the phone down. She said, you're not going to believe it. She said, one of them women got gloriously saved. Amen. Amen. I say this because it's how I feel. Because my boy's last name's Seton don't mean they've got to be preachers. Yeah. They don't have to be. That's no. right. They can be a godly welder. Yeah. They can be a godly inspector. Sure. Uh, Just live for God. Amen. Amen. One day they're going to watch. I yeah. hope he's watching this morning wherever he's at. He don't have to be a preacher. No. Amen. That's no. right. Just live for God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They can be used.